Hello and welcome to this RPG Maker tutorial. What I'm going to cover in this tutorial is going to relate to in-game combat or live-action combat. This is something that's kind of been requested and discussed among a lot of people who've uh, dealt and used this engine. And it's one of the things I wanted to figure out for a long time. And I figured out a fairly easy and efficient way of creating combat that's in-game. And doesn't have to use a turn-based engine, which a lot of people don't like. This system also doesn't require a significant amount of coding, exclu excluding one script that we're going to involve, but I'm going to walk you through that so that newbies don't have to worry about being overwhelmed by the amount of code that is involved. Alright, so once you have the thing open, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and create an event, an enemy. So for in this case, I just created a very quick event here called enemy. So, once you have this event created, the first thing you want to do is you're going to set the trigger for the event as event touch. Now what event touch means, is it means that this event simply touches you or you touch it, it will activate. This is preferable to simply having it as an action button, which would assume that you'd have to hit action to even have the event called. So, set it, you're going to want to set it to event touch, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to exit this, and you're going to want to go to your database. Now in the database, you're going to want to go to the common events. The common events is basically any kind of event that is going to be common enough in the game that you want to have it pretty much accessible from anywhere and then simply call it using a call event command. So what I've created here is I've created a very, very, very simple event. So what it does is if the event is called, it's going to have a hit player animation. So to add the animation, you simply have to go show animation player and the animation you want to use. I've just used hit physical in this situation. So I'm going to show you what I've got here very quickly and then I'm going to walk you through a little more of the specifics of it just so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. I'll run this. So as you can see, the event is coming towards you because I set it to approach player. Unfortunately, the AI isn't too strong, so you're going to want to screw up Pathfinder a little bit, so you get exactly what you want to do. But if I go up to him and I hit him, it's going to play the physical animation, which is going to show that he's hitting me. Now, I've also said it that if you hit A, when touching him, you're going to attack with a slash. So I'm going to go up to him, I'm going to hit A, and as you can see, it shows a slash there. Now, obviously, that's not very interesting yet, because the first problem is, is that there's no damage or anything being done. It's simply showing the aesthetic of the event, just the visual that is appealing to the player. So the way you set this up is, once you have the event created, you're going to maybe want to set their type to approach player, the movement, so that they actually come towards you, and you'll just kind of walk around like a bunch of idiots. And you're going to have a call event, common event command. So I'm going to delete this and just show you how you find this. So I'm just going to delete that. So the way you do this is you're going to want to insert... And we're going to come down to, da, 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 da. <laughs> right here. Under flow control on the first page, you're going to go to call common event. And in the call common event, you're going to call combat, which was a common event I just created a few seconds ago in the database. So now that it will call the event combat. So we're going to go to the database here. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. In the database, I created a general, a common event, more likely, called combat. Now in combat, the way I have it working is if you simply call it, it's going to show a hit physical animation to the player. Now what I also did is I created a conditional branch which says that if X is being pressed, it's going to show, animate, it's going to show an animation to this event, whatever it's calling it, so in this case the enemy down here, and it's going to show, an, it's going to show a slash physical animation. You can change this to whatever you want, I could go and change this to, oh, I don't know, slash ice, you know, maybe if you're using some kind of an ice weapon. I'll just change that just to show you what I mean. So if I run this again, it loads, there we go. Now if I go up to the enemy and I hit, oh, he's attacking me. If I go up to the enemy and I hit X or A, it's going to show a slash ice. There you go. So that's how you can change your animation. You can fool around, make different items, and, you know, you know, make your game a little more unique. So you're not using just default animation or you're not just copying everybody else's. Okay. So another really so as you can see though, there's nothing really actually going on. There's no attack being made, there's no HP being minus for the attack. I'm not gonna go into a lot of that right now. Actually, I probably won't go into it at all it at all right now. There are hundreds of tutorials dealing with variables, and I want to just show you how to get everything set up, and then you can go into the more nitty-gritty details on your own. But one thing that is interesting to do is the show actual damage being done to the player. Because as you can see there, there's no data being shown. It simply shows that you're attacking him, but there's no kind of indication of how much damage is being done. This is easily remedied using a very simple script. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to come down here, you're going to open up the script editor, you're going to come to materials at the very bottom, and you're going to create a script. And you're going to call this script, I don't know, pop-up. Okay. So now, 
what you're going to want to do is I'm going to link this in the description. There's a if there's a script that you can get. It's free online. That shows event pop up, which allows you to set it so that data is displayed just above whatever the player's head or the enemy's head. So you're going to go download. You're going to get it here. And here you go. This is the entire script here. Now this may look a little bit overwhelming to people who aren't used to coding or are not used to specifically to the language. But don't worry about it. There's no coding actually involved. You just simply have to copy and paste it in. So here we go. I'm going to copy and paste all this. Oh, there we go. Okay, copy that. And you're going to want to come down in here and you're going to paste the script right here. And now that the script's pasted in, it's in the game. It can be accessed. So all of this here is actually has nothing to do with the script itself. It's just simply explaining you how everything works. and gives you some nice labeling so things aren't too complicated. So right here, this is what you're going to want to look for. It's going to be under examples. It's going to be pop-up. And it's going to just give you an example of how everything works. So for instance, up here it explains that in pop-up you have the target, the type, the ID, and the amount. So we're not actually going to give any amount or item for anything. Because this is usually done to show that there's an item or something being exchanged. And we're not going to be dealing with that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to say you're going to copy this here, the pop-up. It says hello. So this says it's going to show hello text above your head. You're going to copy that. Apply. Now you're going to go back to the uh, database under common event. I'm going to have it say that any time that you attack the enemy, it's going to show damage indicator over their head to show how much damage you're done. Now I'm just going to make a default little like damage thing, you know, like one or two, because we're not going to go into specific weapon amounts or like randomized damage, so forth, so on. That's something for another tutorial. So you're going to go down. You're going to go to advanced. You're going to hit script, and you're going to paste into the script this. Now we don't want it to say hello because that doesn't really we're really doing anything in the context of what we're doing it makes no sense so we're going to say negative one and now right here this number two this refers to who is actually referencing like where the pop-up will appear zero references to the player but if you want to reference a specific event such as the event we're using just do this you're going to hit at event underscore id you're going to hit okay and there we go so now when we attack the player or so excuse me when we attack the enemy it's going to show a negative one above their head to basically signify the damage is being dealt to them so we're going to come out of there, we're going to run this. Alright, we're going to go up to him, and if you see, anytime I attack him, it's going to show a negative 1 over his head. The signify we're doing negative 1, we're doing 1 damage, or negative 1 HP. So there you go. If you want to show damage about the player, the same process is used. What you're going to want to do is come back out of here, you're going to go to the database, and here, where it's shown where the enemy hits you, you're just going to simply paste that back in. You're going to insert a script, paste it back in, say negative 1 as well, and instead of using event ID, you're going to use zero. Zero will always reference the player. So if you're ever showing damage to the player, simply use zero. And if you want to reference the event that you're attacking, simply use what I used earlier, the at event underscore ID. So there we go. We're going to put that there. We'll run this one more time. So now that we have it running, I'm going to show you. So he's going to come up to him, he's going to attack us. And as you see, negative one is being shown over my head to signify that I'm losing one HP every time he hits me. There we go. And that's it. So this is a pretty simple tutorial. It doesn't really give a whole lot of interesting idea to the combat. I didn't show any way of doing animation or making your guys show that they're actually attacking. But I thought this was a nice little intro tutorial to give people a little bit of a base so they can start fiddling around and make more in-game combat. Instead of, having, instead of having to specifically use the uh, default turn-based combat that comes with the engine. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, have a nice day.